whenever I am asked to name my favourite book or a selection of books that I absolutely love, I can never pick one favourite. But definitely among the top five, every time, is this wonderful book by Val McDermott, Forensics, The Anatomy of Crime. I am, like a lot of people, obsessed with forensics. I am a crime writer, so I do a lot of research. But even before I began to write fiction, long, long time ago, I always find mortality to be very fascinating. And crime scene books, particularly textbooks and uh, research books, to be very, very interesting. And the creme de la creme of all of the forensics books is without a doubt Val McDermott's. This is a very well researched book, beautifully presented, very well written, and I couldn't put this down. It is absolutely gorgeous. The level of detail is insane. And what's really interesting is that even though it is very heavily detailed, every page is full of fantastic, uh, fascinating, well-researched information, even though it's very heavy with information, it's very easy to read and Val McDermott presents the information in a way that's easy to understand, easy to digest, and importantly for me, easy to retain because I have a terrible memory. So if something takes a lot of time for me to kind of get my head around, for example, there are a lot of forensics textbooks that use a lot of scientific language and I'm not scientifically minded. Those kind of textbooks I read and don't really retain what I'm reading. Val McDermott presents this information beautifully. In addition to being beautifully written and well researched, it's fantastically laid out as well. Each section focuses on a different part of the crime scene and that's something that I found to be really pleasing. I did just read this from start to finish, but this is also a go-to for when I'm writing crime fiction. If I know that I have a crime scene that involves... I don't know, flies eggs and I want to be able to establish the time of death based on the flies that are around it or um, the rate of decomposition within a certain type of soil, I can go to a section in this book and find out about that. And yes, I would then go and read around that. I wouldn't just use this as my key source, but McDermott has clearly done a lot of research into this and I trust what she is saying. So. The different sections you will find in this are as follows. Entomology, very exciting. Uh, pathology, toxicology. Toxicology is always really interesting and toxicology was something I knew a little bit about. It is a very scientific thing. I mean, obviously forensics is completely scientific, but in terms of the language used, I find a lot of papers, articles, textbooks that talk about toxicology are very complicated and complex and this section in particular was very pleasing to read. Uh, finger fingerprinting, blood spatter and DNA. I read a lot of books about blood spatter because it's one of my personal areas of interest with forensics and this is without a doubt one of the best chapters on blood spatter analysis I've ever read. We also have anthropology uh, facial reconstruction, which is something I don't know that much about. I've not really explored it too much. So were I to treat this section of this book as my introduction to facial reconstruction, I think it introduces you to it very well, but still goes into some quite some detail that you feel like you get a deeper understanding of it at the same time as the introduction, and that's expertly crafted in this book. It also has digital forensics and forensic psychology as well as information about um, what happens in the courtroom. Forensic psychology I think is really something that needs a book on its own and I would love for Val McDermott to write an entire book just about forensic psychology if that is something that interested her. I'm assuming she hasn't done that. This is where somebody's going to tell me that she in fact has actually written a book entirely about forensic psychology because I love it, absolutely love forensic psychology. This book is one of the best I've ever read. As I said, when I'm asked to name one of my favourite books, this always springs to mind. It's gripping, it's compelling, it's easy to digest, in, even though it's full of so much information. And, and when I say it's not as scientifically, the vocabulary isn't as scientific, 
That doesn't mean that it's dumbed down or that it doesn't use the right terminology. It absolutely does. I just find that it's easier to digest than a dry paper, which, of course, was always going to be the case. But I think McDermott has beautifully researched this, beautifully written it. And I absolutely love it. Obviously, she's a fantastic writer anyway. But if I didn't know that and I read this, I would have discovered a new love. She's absolutely incredible. This book is my go-to when I am writing my own fiction. As I said, I read it from start to finish, but now it's something where I would just jump to a specific section if I wanted to refresh my memory on blood spatter or if I wanted to learn more about facial reconstruction. It's also very inspiring. I would never personally consider including facial reconstruction in one of my own novels, but having read this, Maybe it's something I should explore. I don't know. Maybe I will one day. If you read one of my books in five or ten years' time, I incorporate facial reconstruction. You know I have Val McDermott to thank for that bit of inspiration. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautifully written. Fantastically presented. Great structure. Easy to digest the information. It's absolute perfection.